Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, November 20th, 2014, and we're excited to have with us Matthew Santos. Are we starting? It's not too late. Where we will learn you talk I hope it's not too late Caught in the photograph Lingering in the past Searching outside myself Audio Tree Live with Matthew Santos. Welcome, you guys, to the studio. Thanks for coming out. Uh, now that it's starting to get pretty cold, um, I'm curious if you have like an article of winter clothing that you're excited to wear. I mean, I know it's I know it's a bummer that it's getting cold, but I have this beanie that I love to wear that's like real fuzzy and warm. You know, at least that gives me a little bit of comfort in sure. like the sadness of winter, kind of. <laughs> Anybody? Coat? I, uh, I I always look for excuses to wear scarves. I yeah. Guess. Oh, right so on. This is a perfect one for that. For sure. Do you have one that's like your favorite? Uh, it's kind of, kind of, maybe, sort of. Okay. Yeah. What's I it? Got what's a it few. look like? Uh, or what do a few of them look like? Well, I got this like really uh, light one from from Rome last time I was there. Oh, cool. It's like you know nine dollar scarf on the street. Yeah, yeah. But it's like definitely my fave. I sweet. Think, at this point. How long yeah. were you in Rome? Just, just like two days. Oh, yeah. sweet. Just for, like, that was a tour thing? Or just for it, your own? It was actually quite a spontaneous. Um, it, it was, I was on tour in the UK, and then uh, uh, one of the fellow artists I was on tour with, um, his name is Stefano Barone, and he's from Rome. And he's like, yeah, we should just hop over to Rome and do a show real quick. Sweet. It's like, well, oh, 
okay, yeah, it sounds great. So we we did that, and then I had to do a show in Paris afterwards, and then Whoa. back home to the states. Uh, were they both like as I don't know special as you thought they were? like like did they meet your expectations? They, Rome and Paris. <laughs> they did. Um, it was my first time in Rome, and I did some touristy stuff at the Colosseum, and yeah, right uh, musically speaking, everybody was like really tuned in and uh, respectful and listen and it was like a totally listening room so it was it was awesome actually yeah cool okay awesome uh winter stuff from you guys or europe travel stories <laughs> i'm always a sucker for a good hoodie oh I yeah have to say. It takes the pressure out of dressing yourself yeah right? definitely yeah. you can just cover up whatever like dumb red bull shirt you're wearing sure. under you <laughs> as know, an just example a, yeah as an example <laughs> throw a hoodie on and get rid of it <laughs> emma for you I don't know if there's an article of clothing that I'm excited about, but there's an article of clothing that sometimes it gets so cold I have to wear. And okay. This big gray coat that I have that I say whenever I put it on, it makes me look like the Michelin Man. Because oh, it's <laughs> like that puffy <laughs> thing. Yeah. yeah. Is it one that goes way down, uh -huh. like knee length? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you know it's cold when you have to wear the Michelin <laughs> coat. I know what you mean. Cool. Uh, thank you guys again for coming out and playing, and you can go on to your next song.
Audio Tree Live with Matthew Santos. So we have a, a class of students in here, a middle school class, seventh graders, I believe, who've come to watch you guys. And so maybe just for their sake, I'm curious if you can remember when you sort of decided you wanted to be a career musician. Maybe it's a moment or maybe it's like a period of time, a show you saw, something like that. Anybody? I feel like I'm still deciding. <laughs> right, of course. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Totally, yeah. I what mean, about the bug or like what about the seed maybe when that was planted? Yeah, I think like like most of us, I played music pretty early on, kind of like the middle school, high school, taking lessons, playing with friends, playing sure. in band. But uh, in high school and college, I really got into jazz music and I felt like there was this incredibly deep reservoir of music that I was just so naive to. Yeah. And so... Even now, you know, 15 years later, I feel like I'm still just kind of like wrapping my hands around it. And it's exciting because it's a whole lifetime of work ahead of you, which can't be said about every career. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Especially as you keep playing and getting older and developing, right? That, and you'll discover new styles, I'm sure, even after that. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Emma? Yeah, I was going to say like two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. Music has always attracted me ever since I was little. Um, but, but I, I think there's, there's something to, like John said, discovering something new every time you yeah. listen to something you've never heard before. There's, um, um, but yeah, to do, to do music full time definitely is a leap of faith. For sure. And, uh, it's, it's. It's a beautiful one. I, I like it. Yeah. Matthew? Um, well, I, I went to school at Columbia for, for music and to, uh, started there in 2001. So I've, I, uh, I guess that was, that was when I first decided, yeah, let's, let's do this all in. Okay. But I ended up dropping out in 06. And it wasn't it, it wasn't like ingrained into, in, into my um, uh, being until I was like uh, on this crazy trip up to Denali and I was up there for like two weeks and it sort of um, stripped stripped me of, of all the comforts and conveniences of, of modern world and uh, when that was all gone it was like okay the thing I miss most is, is playing is playing music mm. so that was like that was it for me right there cool yeah. did you not have your guitar with you for any reason okay yes yeah. yeah a lot of other stuff yeah <laughs> 60 pounds of other <laughs> yeah shit, of but. course <laughs> backpacks and tents and all that oh. cool sweet all right kids well it's possible you can take it away when you're ready She just wants to be loved. She just wants to know everything will be alright. She don't want to be loved.
We're alone here together All alone, yes We're alone here together All alone mm -hmm. We're alone here together Matthew Santos on Audio Tree Live. There is a pledge campaign that you can contribute to for the new record and some other things, I'm sure, music in general for Matthew. So go to his website and check that out. I'm curious, in that note, there's a lot of cool stuff on there. About the necktie, if you could explain that story oh, to me. Necktie. Yeah, I just didn't, I guess I didn't understand how it came into your possession or... Well, in 2008... Um, I did a collaboration with Lupe Fiasco, yeah. and the song kind of blew up, and then we, we toured with, with Kanye and Rihanna and NERD uh, for like two months. So I was, I was touring with these guys, and at the end of the tour, I basically walked around with this, this golden uh, necktie and asked everybody to, to sign, sign it. it. Sweet. The only person who didn't sign it was Lupe. Okay. So Kanye signed it, Rihanna signed it, <laughs> Pharrell signed it. Nobody else. That's I mean, awesome, okay. though. Those like those signatures are pretty special. I can imagine. Yeah, you know, I think so. I yeah. think so. You know, it's pretty pretty big names in the in the world of of music. I would say. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I like to read, and so if any of you three have a book recommendation that you could give to me, I'm maybe more on the educational side, but I don't really care if it's fiction or something. Anything you've been reading recently, or uh, something you're into. Go ahead. Sure. Well, sort of on the educational slant, there's a, uh, a French writer. His name is Alain de Botton. Okay. He's a philosopher and a writer. He's got a couple of great, wonderful books, and his newest one is called News. Okay. A user's manual. Got it. It's wonderful. Sweet. I just picked up a book of poetry by Rumi. I've been getting into that. So okay. I don't know if you've looked into that. No, I don't know that beautiful, at all. Beautiful, beautiful poetry. Cool. Is that R U M I or not? R U M I. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Matt? Uh, right now I'm doing the whole Carl Sagan circuit. Cool. So, um, Demon in the Dark, I believe, is the one right now. And there's the Pale Blue Dot. <laughs> it's also very nice. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You guys can go on your last song when you're ready. Oh, yeah. I wanted to say that they're playing at uh, Pledge Campaign. Please donate to it. They're playing at Shuba's on December 4th. That's the album release party for, like, Chicago people, basically. And then Into the Further will be actually released on December 23rd. So pay attention for that.
I woke up in the hospital Bad with my head held heavy and hazy Like old crazy, long above and under The day I moved on with my life and this is my husband Jacob These are my two children
Matthew Santos on Audio Tree Live. Thanks again, guys, for coming out and playing. My pleasure. Thanks for having us, man. Thanks to Dictator. Thanks to Goose Island. Thanks to the seventh grade class. What? What's the school? What's the middle school? Somebody tell me. FXW, go Griffins. Thanks, you guys, for coming out and watching. Um, thanks to awesome people in the studio. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jaguars. <laughs> thanks, Jaguars. Uh, studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew for hooking it up. Viewers, thanks for watching. Support the band, please, by going out to the shows, pledge campaign, and by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. And send a shout via social media to us or them if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the studio, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.